So in the history of Kenyan politics, we have had women in the past being harassed and being ridiculed and even being beaten because one is coming out uh, to contest and uh, campaign in the, what is termed as a men-dominated uh, career. Uh, but I want to, to encourage my fellow women, especially young women in this country, that yes, we can, that uh, we should not worry, we should not be blackmailed or something because you're coming out, uh, you're coming out to contest. Uh, let people know that even women have a space in this country's leadership and we are up to task and uh, we are not fearing. We to task, to see we work and to nunui. Uh, in any case, we are, we, are, we, are sell, we are telling them, we are sell, sending a signal that we are here, it is our time, and we are going to make it. And uh, in the future, I think it's a women's moment. Yeah, I would challenge uh, the young people in this country to go for the, the elective positions and not wait for maybe get nominated, because it is our time. We have been told time and again that youths are the readers of, of tomorrow, but uh, I want to say today that youth should be the readers of today. We have what it takes. We are qualified academically and even we have uh, potential and experience to be leaders of today. My humble request to my Kanyanyaini people is that uh, I will be on the ground hunting for votes. I'll be talking to you. I'll be listening to you. And therefore, I urge all people, men and women, young, uh, young men and young women, to hold my heart, to walk with me to the to the winning to the winning reign, and to support me and pray for me and give me votes when time comes. Okay.